Welcome to webdevelopmentschool.com. This is the part two video of an introduction to arrays in the for each statement. Uh, we just learned a little bit about uh, arrays and indexes. And if you did not saw that video, please check it out. It's one of the previous ones. So we got an editor and a browser uh, set up. Now we're going to create an array like names. We're going to stick to the example we just created. And we're going to append some values to it. So now we declared an array names. So the variable names is now an array. And with these three lines, each time we append a value to that array. So now names got one value, Tuan. Now names got three, two values, and now three. So whenever we echo this array, please remember to use the uh, free tags in HTML, which makes it a more easy to read. We got an array with three values. And this whole thing is called the array. This is called a value or the values. These are called the indexes. And whenever we want to use a value, we need an index. So we can say, okay, for this array, I need the value at one. And it's nice to know that we can also loop through that array. Or some kind. If you remember the if statement like this, the syntax was the if statement. So we declare an if statement. Between these two parentheses, we declare a condition. And this source code between these two curly braces is executed whenever the condition was true. Well, the for each statement is quite the same. It's also like this. So the for each statement uh, was, is also declared by the statement for each. And we got two parentheses. We'll come to that later and two curly braces. And this code is run every time um, it iterates to a value. And I'll uh, show you an example. OK, what happens here is that we declare a for each statement. And between these two parentheses, we say, OK, the array names is going to be uh, looped through. So for every value, and this array names has three values, um, this for each statement will run this code thrice. So one time with the value Tuan, one time with the value Bart, and one time with the value Homer. And every time it iterates through that code, it'll assign the current value to the variable name. So when I say echo name here, this is what will happen. PHP will see the for each statement. We'll see that between these two parentheses, we said, all right, we want to iterate names. That's an array. And every time it iterates, we want the current value to be yeah, called under the variable name, name. And this is plural, plural and this is uh, singular. So um, PHP will come to this code and we'll see this array and we'll iterate three times with, uh, in this, uh, between these curly braces. And the first time it'll echo Tuan, the second time it'll echo Bart, and the third time it'll echo Homer. So the for each statement loops every value and every time it is looping, it'll assign the values to this variable. And, and I can also call this xxx. It doesn't matter as long as you use that between these two uh, curly braces, the source code within, you ref refer to the right variable. But it's more logic to say name because it's every time it's a name. So we will see Tuan, Bart, Homer in the browser now. That's working correctly. And we can also combine a little bit of HTML uh, to it. And note the dot. So we say, okay, this string value combined with a variable. So whenever we um, execute source code, like say maybe we want to change change this a little bit to so say echo hello, I am name. So now PHP will loop uh, through this code three times, 
And each time it loops through that source code, it'll assign the current value to the variable name. And when we run this, we see, hello, I'm Tuan, I'm Bart, I'm Homer. And whenever you append more var values to that array, this code won't have to be changed because it will run the same. So that's a short uh, introduction to arrays. Um, we got a little bit of time, so I'm going to do a little bit of bonus material, if you will. You can also say as index and the double arrow to name. Now, uh, the index is assigned to the, var the, the variable index and the value is assigned to name. So, the index index has the, the value name. So when we check this out, we will see that uh, it'll loop through uh, the for each statement and tells us um, that the index zero is assigned as the value Tuan, the index one has the value Bart, and two has Homer. And this is a way, but it's optional to um, assign uh, the index to a variable as well as the value. So every time we loop through names, we had it like this, it'll it'll loop through the variable names for four times. One, one time it'll assign name Tuan, one time it'll assi assign the value Bart to name, one time it'll assign the value Homer to name, and one time with Lisa, so it runs four times. But it's also possible to uh, assign the index uh, with uh, this style, but you can forget about this. This is the base thing. So. Wrapping it up, um, the short version is this. We created an array. Um, we call it uh, names, so the variable names is now an array. We appended three values, Tuan, Bart, and Homer, through that array, uh, done with these two empty brackets. And then we say, okay, for each, and between these two parentheses, we declare the input array, like names as name, so uh, this source code between this and this curly brace, in this case echo name, will run three times. One time it'll loop through, it has the value Tuan in name, the second time it'll have Bart in name, and the third time it'll, it'll have uh, Homer in the var variable name. So in short, that's a for each statement. We're going to uh, wrap it up here. Uh, thanks for watching and hope to see you again at the website or the next video.